Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So, this is my Metabo, what is it? An SPA1200 chip extractor. I've had quite a few questions about it, so I thought I'd tell you a bit about it. I've had it for a year now, and I got it for one reason only, and that is for my planar thicknesser, which creates a lot of chips. Strangely enough, chip extractors are good for extracting chips. So, I think a lot of people are interested in a dust extractor and thinking that would do everything. This is a 100ml hose, it's no good for reducing down really to smaller diameters. You're definitely not going to be plugging power tools into this. You can reduce it down a little for a bandsaw or something like that. But I have three dust extractors in my workshop. This, as I say, dedicated just to that one machine. And then I have two others that are more uh, like vacuums, like you'd hoover your house with, but they're the same kind of principle. And um, that's what I use for the band saws and all my power tools. So, um, I've had a few Metabo machines and the instructions have been appalling on all of them. But this is so straightforward to put together. I, you didn't even really need the instructions. You could just look at the picture on the, um, on the box. It's got a cloth filter, which um, they're a pain to clean. You, you shouldn't wash them. You just kind of bang them out. But you can get pleated metal uh, filters. Well, they're not pleated metal. They're metal cages with a pleated filter inside um, to fit these. So I will upgrade that at one point. Now, you can see this kind of angled base design, and you'll see that in a lot of colours on a lot of manufacturers machines. So this is really sold under a lot of different names. Um, this is on my Amazon page so you can look how much the Metabo one is but there's certainly cheaper ones from other manufacturers. Um, I got the Metabo because at the time I thought I had the Metabo thicknesser is a good name so if there's any problems the support would be good. I've had no problems, um, but I've not really had great experience with their support system either. But you can probably find it cheaper from a different manufacturer. Um, and yeah, it extracts chips. So that's not much to say really. It's got one button, you turn it on and off, and it works. Well, saying that, it didn't work straight away. First time I put it on the planar thicknesser, it clogged up here within a minute. I took the hose off, unblocked it, clogged up again, clogged up again. And it had this little mesh over it to stop, um, well, I guess it stops big bits damaging the impeller. I've seen other people mention this on other machines, four screws, took it off, never had a problem since. I'm sure this um, voids my warranty doing it, but I'm not going to be unblocking it every minute. That is just ridiculous and makes it unusable. Uh, my 10 inch planer produces quite a lot of chips. So this didn't work, took that off, worked absolutely fine. As I say, using it a couple of times a week since for a year, no problems. So the other thing I've got it attached to is this bin. I've um, done a whole video about this. So I'll put a link up above and below to this and this, this excuse the noise this comes from Rockler uh, these, should, these should be facing opposite directions they've got torched around I'll sort that in a bit but let me show you if you see that it really does a great job because changing the bags on these things is a real pain and this separator just really makes that easy uh, I've, I perhaps empty the bag every six months because a few bits get in, especially if this gets full, then obviously they start getting sucked in. Uh, so the other thing that makes it really easy, this is the hood for the dust, for the um, chip extractor, for the planer, are these quick release clamps. I'll try and put a link to these below as well, because they just make taking it on and off. I've got them 
on this, on here, on here. I think I've got it now, I've got it permanently attached on there. So it really makes it easy to sort out. Um, I suppose the other thing to say is let's look at the noise level. So I've got the decimal meter. Let's start it up and see how loud it is. So what's that running at? The high 90s. So it's quite loud, perhaps not as loud as a uh, universal motor table saw, but as I say, I only use it with my planar thicknesser, which is louder, and especially when you're putting wood in. So I never think the dust extraction makes much difference on the volume if the machine you've got it plugged into is louder. So that's fine. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, it's, it's fine. As I say, it's a, a one-trick pony, really. You, you switch it on and it sucks up chips. Works fine. Um, it's, the power level's fine for one machine. If you wanted to duct out your whole workshop, you need something bigger. But for standalone, one thing, great. Um, I think that's all I can think to say about it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreons. And please subscribe for more videos.